Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 11th of January 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates, leave what needs to be left. And remember, these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. So I hope you had a lovely weekend and let's see what we have in the cards for you today. Okay, what do we have for the day, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for the day. We have loss, we have an event. Number two, I mean, it is kind of like the energy of that ship has sailed, isn't it? But there's some kind of loss here. Let's pull one more. Teacher. Number four, people. Okay. Let's see what this is about. I'm going to pull an angel card. What do we have for the day, please? Message for the day. Choose a new direction. So with this, we have loss, we have choose a new direction. I'm going to pull an energy card as well. What do we have for the day, please? What do we have for the day? Oh, we've got a new beginning. So number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. So a new beginning is here. There's a loss, but there is a, it feels like a real blessed and uplifting. And very healing energy. Okay, let's see what that's about. Number 34, I'm using the energy deck here. So we have door to personal healing and happiness, new beginnings in your personal life. This card is a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light filled door opens onto a lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing such as breaking an addiction or looking to make some external changes such as finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results, so make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. There's a teacher here of some kind. It feels like a helpful influence. Let's see what that is about. Okay, I'm going to pull these cards. I'm using Radiant Wise today. It's interesting, as soon as I cut the deck, I mentioned that ship sailing. We have the Three of Wands here. What do we have for the day, please? Message for the day, for all signs. The Nine of Pentacles. It's a very abundant card. It's a very self-empowering and independent card too. We have the Hanged Man. The Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Judgment. The Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. It feels for some of you, you're getting some kind of judgment.
let's clarify that nine of pentacles yeah I think it's a new financial beginning career beginning job beginning okay thank you yeah the three of wands interesting that came out with the with the major arcana three creating something new the birth of something new it's coming your way and that's what you're being told that is beautiful What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Fool, a new beginning. This is taking some kind of secret steps towards something here. It's like this is an energy of somebody who is has an agenda but they're keeping their cards close to their chest and it's with a view to opening some kind of beautiful brand new door ready to take the leap of faith in a new direction this is a big new beginning energy major arcana maybe carve and it suggests carve out something different for themselves what is this loss please angel spirits guides what is this loss What is this loss, please? What is this loss? We have the strength card. With that, we have the six of swords. So needing to be strong. And generally, we need to be strong, courageous to face something. There's a, a kind of feeling here of um, a call to action. The Six of Swords is moving from difficulty to calmer waters. There's yeah, and the two of decision i mean the two of pentacles can be some kind of decision but it can also be how you need to bring your life back into balance by making some kind of clear decisions or choices and sometimes it can be that energy in order to move in one direction it means that you have to give up something or it, it, it generally represents kind of opening up to something as well, opening up to something I'm getting here. Two of Pentacles, choices or decisions, but being open to something. A level of adaptation is needed or being flexible in this situation. Listen, for some of you, it might well be that some kind of, you can see on the horizon that some loss may be happening or something might be changing here. And this is the energy of moving from difficulty to calmer waters or being put on notice for some of you that something, there may well be a loss coming your way in some way. It, it, it feels, but it does feel this is an energy of to face, to face things that are difficult to face, seeing something that may be coming Yeah, maybe dealing with some kind of potential change or loss or, again, whatever this is. And by taking steps, you, you actually move from difficulty to calmer waters. I mean, some of you could have also dealt with some kind of loss here. And that going through that period of, of again, it can be quite overwhelming energy, the two of pentacles. You can feel overwhelmed while you're in the process of either making a decision or dealing with a situation between... Or maybe between moving what was to what will be, I'm getting for some of you. I 
I'm going to clarify judgment. Let's see whether this is you making the judgment or somebody. Let's see judgment. What's judgment, Angel Spirits Guides, please? What's judgment? Thank you. The Ace of Swords. This is getting clarity, some kind of clarity or judgment that you might have been waiting for. Okay, it's to do with more money. Oh, it's to do with a victory. Okay, so whatever this challenge is, whatever... I feel for some of you, you're getting clarity. You're going to get some kind of judgment or decision. The hanged man is the energy of waiting, waiting for things to play out. Being the, feeling in that period of limbo, waiting for something to play out here. But this is going to be, I feel the period of judgment is coming to an end. So the period of waiting is coming to an end. Because we have judgment, some kind of judgment or decision to do with the Nine of Pentacles. It feels to do with career, so it feels to do with money, career, finances. So getting more money, maybe getting a job, it might well be standing in your own abundance, your own wealth, your own happiness, you know, your, your own value, your own security, feeling very empowered and good about it. The Ace of Swords is the clarity that marks a new beginning. But again, the hanged man being here suggests that someone's been waiting for a judgment to see if they're going to be victorious. You know, the Six of Wands is victorious, is a victory energy overcoming the challenge and claiming a victory, getting noticed, getting recognised. I feel that there's some help being given to you by Spirit with the Ace of Swords to bring resolution to this. That even though you don't really have, you're, you, this is an energy of still waiting here. I, I feel Spirit is helping bring the clarity your way, bringing the new beginning your way here. It's almost like in this energy, Spirit is saying, yeah, there is a period of limbo going on. I mean, that could be a number of things. It could be, you know, between Christmas and New Year, there was a period of waiting. You know, it might well be, you know, other people had, you know, a busy month in December. Things were delayed or put on hold for whatever reason. But I feel this, this is the energy of that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. This is just waiting for things to be aligned, waiting for all the ducks to be in a row. You know, it feels that kind of an energy here. We have the Ten of Wands, a burden. And generally when it's a ten, it's about to be lifted. Some kind of burden, you know. This can also be an energy of hard work, excessive hard work, to the point where someone's back is, is bent. You know, they're tired. They want to put down the wands because they can't carry them anymore. It's become too much of a burden here. And just when you need it, this is where that offer comes in. Again, the Knight of Pentacles is an offer, someone making you an offer. Very good in terms of contracts, business opportunities, job opportunities. Um, yeah, I, I feel for some of you there is an opportunity here that brings change but remember the night comes in very very slowly but when he comes when he arrives he he stays around for a long time he's very solid he's very secure he's very stable so it, it feels in this energy for some of you the opportunity is going to come the Eight of Pentacles, working hard, putting a lot of effort and energy, maybe even training, getting some new skills, new qualifications here, learning new skills as well. But this can somebody being recognised for what they do. Working hard to bring material gain into their life. And in that process, you know, the Eight of Pentacles can sometimes feel the energy of Groundhog Day. You know, working really hard towards something. I feel the five of wands is competition. And spirit is, is certainly suggesting that you're going to be victorious here. There's an element of waiting. There is a new beginning opening up. For those of you who haven't done anything about it, where you see something changes happening 
Uh, and again, this is for whoever it resonates. This is a call to action. This is definitely a call to action because this is an energy of taking the steps that you need to take to open some new beginning here. Embrace the unknown. The fool is an energy of stepping into the unknown, um, taking that leap of faith, taking that chance. But it feels like this beautiful new beginning is opening up. The Seven of Swords is the energy of someone taking secret steps, having a hidden agenda, because they can see changes coming and they want to create something new, the Empress. This is the energy of if you take the steps that you need to take right now and take action towards a new goal. For some of you, it might well be changes that happen in your current environment. And this is the energy of you can see it coming. And even though someone's like, well, do I do anything? Do I not do anything? There is a certain feeling to, to remove yourself from some kind of troubles, the strength to face something and make the choices that you need to make. This is a call to action here because greater abundance is available to you or abundance, um, financial wealth, security, stability, uh, an abundant energy, an empowered energy, but someone has to take the steps to do that, you know? Someone has to manifest this. This is the first signs of success coming your way, but it feels in this energy somebody has to manifest this, and the Empress is about the creation of something new. The time is right. The time is right. The conditions are perfect to plant new seeds, to make something new happen, to create something new, and it's to do with money, career, finances here. You're being told that there is a door here and there is a need to choose a new direction. I don't know what this teacher is. Maybe someone's telling you this. Maybe someone is seeing the signs that maybe you might not be here. Someone might be telling you, you need to take action. I would do this. And you're being told to listen to this. I'm going to clarify that teacher. Let's clarify the teacher, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify the teacher. It's a people, it's a person. A person, maybe who has more experience, is telling you something here. Yeah, the page of one's a message. A message can be moving in a new direction, this card, and it can be moving in a direction of where there is potential because the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, good fortune is available to you. Expansion, growth, things are opening up right now. There is a window of opportunity to capitalize on. Divine timing, divine orchestration. Yeah, I feel someone's giving you a message here to move in a new direction because now is the time. Wow, that is the message I have for the day. <laughs> Let's see what we have as a final message. It feels quite auspicious for some people, but greater, there's, there's a lot of wealth, a lot of wealth, security available. Uh, somebody who feels very empowered. It might well be if someone's feeling lack as well in a situation or someone isn't sure that this is for them or, you know, the circumstances aren't good. For whatever reason, this is a call to action. If you're not doing anything about it right now, there's a need to do it, I feel. Yeah, we have dear trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. So you're being told to trust here. Wow. And we have dolphin, Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing, stop and listen. Now the dolphin energy can be friendship as well. Friends, people who care about you, your community, family community can be friend community. I feel this teacher energy, it feels somebody has your back here. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.